Could you roll your sleeve up, Gordon? I'm going to put on this blood pressure machine. Gordon's growing reputation as an accurate medium has led to work with psychical researchers like Trish Robertson. It makes contact with your head and it gives me off your brainwaves. <laughs> Trish carries out investigations into all things paranormal. It's the most important question we can ask. Do we survive physical death? Do our personalities and intellects survive? Good afternoon. May I press the blood pressure monitor on Gordon? Gordon seems to be able to tap into some other consciousness and impart information that he couldn't normally know. What he can do is definitely unexplained. Do you believe yourself that there is a spirit world, that we go somewhere else after we die? It's not a matter of belief, it's a matter of evidence. I always say I will only deal in evidence. And I've had many cases of people, for example, who have spoken to someone during, during a particular day, had a conversation, discovered a day or two later that person had actually died. And I'm talking about credible witnesses. These things happen. Trish wants Gordon to help investigate ghostly goings-on at a local pub. But first, she needs to find out more from the landlord. I understand you have a, a paranormal phenomena in the building? Yes, there's been noises or bumps in the night, whichever way you'd want to put uh -huh. it. Um, there's been uh, quite a few witnesses to noises coming through the ceiling. Actually, hearing the noises in yeah. the ceiling. Yeah. And it was a dragging noise, as if it was a big table no. being dragged. There was actually four staff in it at the one time, right. and all heard it together. I definitely heard footsteps up there. Can you give me an idea of roughly how many footsteps you think you I heard? I don't know. I didn't wait to count. No, but I mean, was it like no. two, three, four, oh, five? Oh, it was three or four. Three or four. Uh -huh. Would you say there were heavy footsteps? Like a man or a woman or a child? I would say it was an adult. You would say it was an adult? Aye. David thought that me and Eddie were like, tapping the side of the bar. So me and Eddie stuck our hands up right away, and then that was it. The three years were freaked out then. Mm -hmm. When people report a feeling of presence, it's very important as a psychical researcher to listen to what the people have to say. You will often find that the biggest skeptics are the people who have not investigated a single case in their life. I get actually a bit scared and stuff about it, because mm -hmm. you don't really want to believe in stuff like that. If I can take you through and show you where right. everything's been happening okay. first. Um, it's actually an area upstairs. Right. Not the easiest thing in the world, is it? Wow. Look at that old space. There's quite a, what I would call an atmosphere here. We will be getting out instruments and we can actually measure this. But to me, there's like a column of it's, it's cold it's always, energy. Yeah, it's always funny. There's never really actually a draft, but it's always freezing. Just run about just, here whenever it you was walk like walk, it. it was like walking into it and walking out of it again. Want to try that, David? You might not feel it, it might just be me. Do I feel, feel it? it? Yeah. The dragging sound and the knocking sound I was talking about uh -huh. is actually from about here. Ah. And how's the temperature, David? The temperature's down to 13.6. It's dropped rapidly from about 16. In a short time, that's good evidence. It's, it's uh, rapidly dropping. Do you believe in ghosts? A healthy respect. A healthy respect, I think. Have you got any theories yourself as to a family it could be connected to, or um, a name, or...? Yes, uh, there's several families that were here for at least three or four generations. There was the Waddle family from about 1800 through to the 1870s, and then there was the Reed family, who was here... What? Oh, I just got a big shiver there. <laughs> a big shiver that did scare me there. Can we go back down? <laughs> What, when you mentioned that family's oh, name? Oh, the family read. Oh, no, yeah, it's just actually strange. God, I've never experienced that before. Really? Yeah, i never experienced it quite like that. I don't know, did you not feel anything? No. No, maybe it's just me being paranoid then. There's an actual anomaly there in the photograph, which could be an orb. That's directly above where that chair and set of boots are. Some people say it's dust, it could be energy. There's no scientific proof of what it may be. But clearly, there's something strange come up in the photograph.
Gordon has arrived at the Thistle Inn to try and solve the mystery of the ghostly footsteps. It's almost like memories. I'm being pulled to where there's, I don't know, there's an activity around here of some kind. I can hear things. Whispering voices, but it's not spirit, it's like ghostly voices. They're memories. As you come in. Ah! Yeah. I don't know why, but this area, it's kind of, I was in front of the fireplace, but I was drawn, I don't know, to the side a bit. Which side, Gordon? Kind of my, my right hand side. Okay. Okay, yeah. that's, yeah. that's where I, almost, with a, there's a chair there, but I couldn't sit on it, but I felt around this okay. area there was a, a really strong atmosphere at first. Mm -hmm. I heard voices. Male, female. There was two names called out. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's the same name or right. if it's if it's a first and last name or two different names. Mm -hmm. But it was Jimmy Reed. Jimmy. Jimmy. Reed. Jimmy. Reed. 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 Shall we wander over here and see if there's anything? Mm. Yeah, it's very difficult when you're standing here and there are people around you. And opening myself up as a medium, I mean, immediately I start picking up people's relatives, well, which are not relative to this building. So you uh -huh. can go, go uh -huh. away. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and there is a relevance somewhere to a fireplace, but it's that one. Mm -hmm. The more I look at this, the more no, I've got to go back to that fireplace. Something is not right about that fireplace. Mm -hmm. They're showing me it back as it would have been. And that's not how they remember it. You say you're picking up names, but just say them anyway in case that they're relevant. OK, the other name I heard was Lizzie, but there was a Mac, so, and I wasn't sure if it was McCutcheon or Macaulay or something like that. Just something it's a name Macaulay that means something, something to the landlord. James Reid was actually a gentleman that owned the place between the 1880s and 1950s, but in fact he mentioned a Lizzie. A Lizzie, it's actually Liz, Liz MacDonald was the wife of the owner that had it before us, and he died the other year. Um, so it's interesting that that was mentioned. It was actually a relative of mine. So I've actually got relatives that had the place for the last 30 odd years. Strange. There's two, there's, I think there's balls of light in my head, eh? <laughs> um, and it's funny, the fireplace he's talking about, when we're downstairs in the lounge bar, the fireplace that's in there was actually taken from in, from that space just a year and a half ago. And we actually cleaned it up and the, the, to the tiles and everything that's there, as you can see just now. So that's an original fireplace that was probably put in by those people back in the 1880s. So the, it's, it's really quite... I'm enjoying this. <laughs> Great stories to tell around the bar. <laughs> and it's a sense of... Like that, as though right. somebody has either experienced a feeling of somebody walking up here from downstairs when there's been nobody up here. Just a sense of... But it's just... Honestly, it's, it's like an etheric... I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know the term for it. There's, there's something left over from the past. There's no spirit behind it that wants revenge or says, get out of my house. There's nothing like that. Just a wee Glasgow ghost. <laughs> <laughs> They're all right. They're OK. They do not have an active ghost, portergeist, call it what you will. It's merely energies of the past, happy memories that are left over as a residue in this place. Just hearing that really did just knock me for six. Absolutely knock me for six. With him mentioning um, a family name, it's just really brought all this out in me. It's, it's stuff that, that, that... I'm just really speaking of feelings just now. Um, I really don't know what it is. But I'll calm down in a minute and I'll start talking sensible again. Well, if I've ever talked sensible in the past. But uh, it's, it's something I'm not used to. 